So I just finished The Queen's Gambit, uh, the next Netflix show. And these are my thoughts. How I heard about it was the streamer K3 Soju, TFT streamer. And he just randomly mentioned that that chess show on Netflix was a good watch. Um, seven episodes or so. Six or seven episodes. So it was right up my alley for something that didn't have too much of a commitment. And uh, something that could be digestible within like two to three days. And that's how I, I did it. These are my thoughts. My initial reactions were... I really enjoyed the first scene. The first scene uh, captured my attention really well, where she is um, taking these pills, getting dressed, coming out, um, the whole hotel, getting ready, and then running down the elevator, running to her chess match, and then starting. Boom. Okay, she's doing drugs. I enjoy. She's cute. I enjoy. Chess. I enjoy. Okay, you got me hooked. I'm, I'm interested. Let's see it. And I thought I was going to get this crazy wildlife of this person just going bananas, doing everything crazy. And I got it, and I didn't get it. Um, well, not how I expected. And I enjoyed I enjoyed how it played out, ultimately. The first episodes were very enjoyable, um, where she was young, where Beth was young, and she grew up in the, in the orphanage, and dealing with that, and seeing, uh, building the connection between her and her friend. I'm terrible with names, so I think I know Beth and Benny, and that's about it. So I'm going to be describing these people by the looks on their faces and kind of who they look like, so sorry. Um, but building that relationship between her and her, and her uh, orphanage mate and how it's explained how she got addicted to these drugs where the orphanage would dose them and just to, like, make them sedate, I don't know, to make them calm, I guess. And then when they took it away... And then she became, and she, like, started fiending over it. I thought that was good. All in all, I thought, like, the first two episodes, everything at the orphanage episode, the orphanage episodes were, were amazing, I thought. And I was like, okay, this isn't the show that I was expecting, and I was wondering how long they were going to be at the orphanage. But um, all in all, it was an enjoyable thing for me to watch. I uh, also want to note that I was high during these first episodes, and that deserves praise at least for me because usually when I'm high I get distracted easily and if a show's not good if a movie's not good and I'm high I have no problem turning it off and just fucking going off and doing the next thing listening to music fucking jerking off or doing something completely different but it was important or not important it was significant that I stayed and actually watched the, the three episodes and I didn't watch the full thing because I was like I'm fucking tired I need to go to bed at this time it was probably like 12 o'clock and I was already baked for about a good five hours so um so i held my attention for the first three episodes and i, I think that does credit i like to credit the the actress who uh played beth young beth she was very good um with her acting ability that definitely stood out and i believe her hook line and sinker again maybe the weed maybe the weed helped me believe but also the weed is a i think the weed for me at least is an enhancer so if you're a good actor it enhances your good acting if you're a bad actor it enhances your bad acting and she was good and so it enhanced her good acting um middle the middle game the fourth episode or whatever when they went to mexico i thought this this episode was okay it was kind of like the uh I, I guess this is the one episode i just kind of have to get through uh to be fair to this episode i kind of started it with excuse me I thought the best intentions. I had come back from work and I said, I, I want to watch this episode. Turned it on. It was dragging a little bit here and there. The whole like mom fiasco dealing with the side boyfriend and her being distracted didn't really get me. And then she died. And then I was like, okay, you made me hate, not really care for the mom. And then she dies. So it's like, uh, I don't know. It didn't hit me too hard. And then... Then I, then I took a break. I didn't watch the next episode because I was already... That episode was just like, whatever. But uh, it, it was still good enough to wear out. Okay, let's finish this. Um, so the next day, tonight, I, I watched it, the final three episodes. And luckily, that middle episode, for whatever reason... Um, I, don't, I wouldn't go as far as to say it was the worst episode of the season or the series. But it was definitely a noticeable low point. But... The next three episodes 
did the job and uh, finished finished me off and made it enjoyable. The um, the final episode was something that I really enjoyed, uh, start to finish. I thought the whole thing about her going to Moscow and playing this Borkov guy and winning. Um, just the whole narrative, how how it played out, was really well done. I thought, and I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm a sucker for for Sabi like get-togethers and and uh, shit like that. So like when everybody at the end was on the phone call and they're like, "Oh, you can do this move, you can do that move," it was like, "Okay." You got me. You got me. You got me to smile. You got me to feel good. Good job. Um, that's what I liked. Um, other things that I liked about this show, but there's no nudity. And it was, when I saw her, I was like, okay, they're definitely going to show her tits at least one episode. They're going to show her like ass at least like they're going to like use her beauty. And for the most part, her beauty in the show or her beauty, I guess, supposed to be backseat to her chest abilities and the show got that and didn't really her beauty was not really used her sexiness sexuality was not really used and i enjoy that because it wasn't like sure it wasn't about her fucking her fucking it was about her playing chess and that's really what the story was about there's definitely some sexy scenes which i did enjoy but it wasn't like overly sexualized which i appreciated but um, cause nowadays there's overly sexualized shit for no reason. And sometimes it's, it's good if you're horny, but if you're not horny, it's just like, okay, let's move on. And luckily I wasn't, it was like, I thought it was the, I don't want to say perfect amount, but it was a good amount, just a good amount of sexuality. Um, other things, the chess commentators, the chess scenes where they played the chess and the commentators were talking and the, and the dialogue I thought was wonderfully done. The... Um, using the commentators to give exposition to the story and create this narrative that they're telling their audience, but they're also telling us as the audience. I thought that was very clever, and I thought it was very well used, especially in the last in the last episode and, and in the Mexico episode, I believe too. All, all the commentator, all the news reports, all the media people talking about the chess games as they're happening. I thought, wow, well done, really good, really good, cool choice, uh, cool choice of exposition. Um, the scene where everybody's showing and helping her win, and then, but it ends up that Borkoff didn't do the move that she, they all planned, so, um, she ended up having to use her instincts, hold on, grab some water. So she ended up having to use her instincts, and I thought that was, okay, it still showed that, yay, they helped, but really, they didn't fucking do much. She had to carry that shit on her own, she's like, ah, fuck, you dumbass didn't think about this, the fuck, that they spent three hours working on it, but didn't see this fucking stupid ass pawn move. Thanks, guys. You fucking losers. So she ended up winning. Um, and then the... What is it? What is it? Uh, the fucking chess boys when she's high? Ooh! Ooh! Like, I, the first time I saw it was when she got high and uh, she took it at nighttime. And she, was, and she was in the orphanage. And I was like, wow, that's so... That's so cool. That's so cool. That's such a cool way to use it. Use the drugs. Use her, like, thinking about shit. And it was so fucking cool. And then she used it at the end... It was a little cheesy when everybody was like, what, what is she looking at? Well, she, what, what is she looking at? She, she's doing something up there. And so it was like, okay, okay, whatever. I know it was a little cheesy, but ultimately the fucking chest, boot, chest moves uh, when she's high quality. And I guess you can say that she, at the end, it signified that she didn't really need the drugs the whole time. It was in her the whole time, blah, 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 blah. But I like the fact that the drugs enhanced her, opened her ability to do that, at least initially. And whether she's learned how to do it without it, uh, it's whatever. Things I didn't like, um, about the show, the younger Beth was, um, just a really good fucking actor, and, again, it might have been the weed, but it was, she was such a good actor, and I saw, older Beth was in the third episode, I believe, and she, so I saw her when I was high as well, but it was, like, night and day, and it was hard to make the jump from young Beth to old Beth, just because the acting ability was so, was, uh, different, and it was noticeably, it was noticeable, <laughs> excuse me, I really shouldn't have done this after eating pizza, but, so, yeah, but she, she, uh, it was, no, it was a noticeable, uh, drop in quality and acting ability, and that's not a knock, they both, I, I'm not saying she's a terrible actor, I'm just saying the younger actress was a much better actor than older Beth, and that's just the consequence of getting shows 
and I, some people are going to be better than others and some people are going to stand out some people are going to look weak and but ultimately she picked up I think it was a bit awkward it was I wasn't sure what they were going for because she was so attractive so maybe that could have been on me where I was expecting her to use her sexuality a lot more and when it never happened it kind of confused me but she didn't play like the I don't want to say ditzy um cute but doesn't know it kind of girl she was playing some like weird it, it was just it was just felt off it didn't feel like her character was believable and then after a point it was like okay after she gained more confidence later on then her her role started becoming more and more believable after she started taking more drugs and whatnot but when she was in like high school or whatnot high school early when she was younger it was like what the fuck is this like this is something something's off here and it feels off um that's one thing benny the fucking cowboy guy only i, I remember his name only just because he's like ridiculous he is his whole character was ridiculous um I don't know if he was based on somebody and that person was equally as ridiculous, but not my cup of coffee. I could have done a toned down, maybe not as intense, but it is what it is. Uh, and then there's this, I don't know if, um, the last thing I didn't like is that Netflix has this thing where it, it's almost like a filter or a shooting method, a filming method that they'd have with all their shows. And it's like this. I don't know. It's like the best way I can describe it is that ne- that it's a Netflix filter on their TV shows. And it has a w- weird type of look. Like it's faded, but not faded. It's zoomed in and faded in the background. It's it's weird, and they do it with a lot of their shows. I think I noticed it first with House of Cards. And with House of Cards, it felt fresh. And it felt realistic, but not real. But House of Cards, it, it was fine because it was... They were talking in the real world, and it was a real kind of thing. And they're, he was breaking the fourth wall, and so he was a real character and not a real character at the same time. But this one, it just felt, like, weird. And I don't know, because I don't watch too much Netflix, too many Netflix shows. But this one, it felt there. I felt the filter. And it just felt weird. But I got used to it. And, well, I definitely noticed it at first. And through the first couple of episodes, it was there. But uh, other than that... Those were the things I didn't like about the show. Overall story, um, they had good side good side characters. I thought they were used and then not used uh, really well. Um, they all they all seem legit. They all seem plausible, like plausible real characters that that could have been in this person's life. And that's something that I look for that I look for in uh, TV shows. Is it real? Especially if it's a if it's a real show, like it's supposed to be based in real life. Like even if it's a uh, fictionary account a fictional account but it's a uh, based on the real world i like things to be realistic and the show was realistic it was um her chest abilities granted by some janitor or whatever janitor and drugs made this combination of like it, it was real it, it felt real and uh, all the characters felt real and felt felt genuine um besides that benny guy that many guy was fucking bonkers i don't know what the fuck that was um uh but the handsome the handsome reporter at the end he he felt a little too handsome a little too like suave and arrogant and again this is this is casting where you're casting high schoolers or you're casting 30 year olds as high schoolers just felt a little bit weird and i was just like okay i can suspend my disbelief but this is you're asking me to do a lot here with that guy and uh yeah i i wrote in my notes he's almost too suave even as a high schooler like but it is what it is. Overall, I'd give the show a, uh, I don't know if it's 0 out of 100 or 1 out of 100, but a 68. And <clears throat> my logic behind this is uh, a show that I don't know if it's 100 or near 100 would be season one of True Detective. That's my personal favorite. So that's uh, that's to get some scale to, to, that, to that ranking. So a 95, for example, uh, True Detective might be higher. But 68, and this is very little thought into it. It's, was it a C, C show? Um, I think there could have been better shows. Uh, are there worse shows? Yes, there's definitely worse shows. Was it something that I'd put on again? Probably not Would I tell people to watch it. Yeah, but I tell them, watch it if you like it. If you don't like it within the first couple of episodes, you're not going to like it. And that's fair. I think it's a fair criticism or fair advice. And uh, 
So yeah, I think it's a 68. 68 out of 100.